so like I walked into the house and I was gonna go wash my hands because like my dirty clothes and like being homeless and like having like my nervous system the way that it is makes it hard to hold in your pee and so sometimes when you're about to like pull down your pants a little trickle comes out and then you kind of pee your pants and then they smell like pee and so whatever I was telling I was going in to wash my hands after getting my dirty laundry into the basket and all that stuff so my mom was nice enough to get it washed for me and then my brother comes down the stairs telling me that I'm yelling when literally I'm talking like this actually and um I don't think this is yelling I mean I think this is like a normal tone of voice for like when you're talking and whatever and like anyways and then he goes if you wake up my son I'm gonna beat the shit out of you like really I love it how my brother can say all the threats in the world that he wants to without having the cops go after him. Because I know if I call, they're going to be like, oh, we'll only give him a warning. And then me, everyone has to take seriously. I mean, I know I said some other stuff that's been like kind of like worse than that. But the thing is, everyone's only looking at each other and understanding each other while everyone has ignored me and never tried to understand me, which is why, like, I started saying worse things because I stopped giving a fuck about anyone understanding me. Because you know how fucking wickedly cruel that is to sit there and raise your kid and then have them watch you understand everything, like, about everybody else while, like, they're being ignored? Do you know how, like, cruel that fucking is to that kid's mind? Or am I just retarded? And, I mean, like, my brother wants to sit there and act like he knows so much about being a dad. But if he was a dad, he would have been more patient. And he would have came downstairs understanding that I didn't know. And maybe treat me the way that he likes to be treated. But since he wants to be that way, I'm going to assume that that's the way that he likes to be treated. Okay? Because that's the way I'm going. And, like, he's fucking retarded. And so... He could have came downstairs and been like, you know, my kid is sleeping. Could you talk a little quieter? Or could you not talk at all? Because, like, you know, I can at least handle that because I know he's still a dick kind of thing. But at least that's, like, a little less than, a, like, whatever. But anyways, no, he's got to be a power-hungry fuck and go, I'm going to beat the shit out of you if you wake him up. Oh, mind you, I watched him last night with the bottle and his kid, and then his kid pulled away from the bottle, and then this guy doesn't even give the kid, like, ten minutes. He tries again two seconds later, and the kid's still pulling away from the bottle. And he's going so fast, like, he's bringing the bottle to the kid's face, like, so fast. Like, is he even comprehending what you're doing? Like, what are you doing? Why are you bringing it to his face that fast? He still needs time to open his mouth. Like, oh my gosh. Anyways. But what do I know about children? I It's not like I watched seven of them by myself while their parents were gone all day and said that they'd be back at a certain time. And then they just kept taking advantage of me being there because they knew I'd take care of them. Because, you see, I'm more mature where I'll care more about the kids than to, like, be vengeful towards the parents kind of thing. And yeah, so that's that's me being already more of a parent than two parents who couldn't be fucking parents together. They're divorced. They are not together anymore. I saw all the drama on Facebook and it was kind of entertaining and sad to see, actually. It was more so sad to see, but nobody really cares like that anymore. So like at least the people that like are in the situation. So I just decided to just, you know, laugh along and do what they do with me when I'm in something because no one actually really cares it's why I'm here and outside in the backyard because if anyone actually cared they would actually put in the effort instead of being like that's too much effort for me because I'm a lazy piece of shit who barely wants to put in any effort for myself yeah that's basically how people are a lot of you people are actually and y'all can comment and say that you don't owe me anything, but I also don't owe you anything. And you want to talk to me like I'm like that, then you can just straight up go and fuck yourself. You can go be like, I'm not a charity either and how we're not a charity. That's great. 
last I checked, I was looking for a place so that I can, you know, save my money and get the fuck out. But, so sorry. I didn't know I was asking for a charity and for you to give out so much to me, including your paychecks and everything. Like, wow. Wow. You people are, like, really fucking amazing, you know? And you're so rational, too. Like, you're more rational than I've ever been in my life. Please tell me more about how to rationalize. And, like, I should really start listening to my brother, too, because he seems to know more than I do. You know what I mean? Like, he really knows how to talk to people. You wake up my kid, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Because that's that's normal. That's normal. Oh, sorry, it's only normal for him to talk to me like that, but then he'll treat other people with respect. Because, you know, mom says that she tried, but she never tried as hard with them as she did with me. And that's what I would like to call discrimination. And fucking power-hungry fucking bullshit. Because she allowed them to lie. And then she'd be like, well, you see, they're all telling the truth and not admitting to what they did. And you're the only one admitting to what they said that you did. So you're going to be the one in trouble. And you're going to sit there and tell me that she knew nothing when she was raising me? Okay. Okay. I'm really questioning if she actually means it when she says that she's sorry. Because she did say that I'm sorry for... She fully said, I'm sorry. Like, she said the words. And then she said that she realized how she raised us. But, like... Is it an act? Or do I believe in her? Because she acted for most of my life. I mean, like... And I understand how people get into, like, a certain reality and everything, and they just lose all that's rational, and they start being irrational. And then try to, and then they put it on, force other people to do as they say, because, oh my god, they're gonna freak out. But it's okay. I remember everything. Maybe I'll take it to court one day, because... Nobody respects me. It's all about my brothers. And then she goes, I tried. I tried. She never once, never once went at my brothers the way that she did me. She was never hard on them like she was with me. And you know what? She actually let them have their fucking space to go and think things over. And then go talk to her on their own. How come I never fucking got that? Because she made up shit and assumed that she assumed shit about me and then made up her decision that she was right about me before actually getting to know me because she's mom and she knows all of her kids. Because when you have your kids, you sh- you just know them right away. You don't have to get to know them at all. Because everyone's intuition is that sharp. Because I highly fucking doubt it when they barely fucking know themselves. <laughs> 